I'm Allie Valkyrie. I fight for homeless people. Um, <laughs> so so what did you think of the meeting today, the city um, council meeting? I think that their hearts are in the right place. I also think it's kind of being set up to fail. Um, I think it's just simply much easier to stop ticketing people at night than to try to create these areas with all these rules, with all these regulations. It's only going to help 15 to 30 people. Meanwhile, 150 to 200 are being kicked out of the wetlands. I think it's, it's, it's again, I, I, I see them trying really hard to come up with an answer, but I think there's huge political pressure coming from neighborhood councils, coming from members of the community who don't want to see this happen. And I think that they're trying to, to make both sides happy. I think they're trying to do something while at the same time caving to that pressure. And where I appreciate the work they're doing, I, I don't necessarily see it working. And that's very frustrating because I feel like we're going to go through another winter where at least the large majority of people are not going to have a safe and legal place to sleep. Okay. Uh, is there anything you can think of that, that activists could do to move this along? I really don't know at this point, honestly. Um, I mean, a lot of what went down in there, especially in terms of the locations, had to do with work that, you know, that ate the mill location that they, they discussed is one that I pointed out to them that wasn't even on their list. So I think that, you know, we have been a big part of this thus far, and they are really taking our information and they're taking our input, and they're making us a part of it in a way that I know is, is abnormal for, for city discussions and for legislation and whatnot. But I still feel that they're missing the bigger picture that activists are, are trying to put forth here, which is this is only going to help a very small percentage of the population. And it's, it's, it's problem right now, you know, how are they going to enforce it? What are they going to do when person number 16 shows up and needs a place to sleep and the site's only for 15? Um, I, I think that, that this is being, it, it's very utopian. It, it, I don't necessarily see it working, although at the same time I don't want to poop on it because they're trying to do something and I appreciate that and I respect that, but I don't necessarily think this is the right course and I will keep participating, I'm going to keep helping, but I'm a little worried and I'm a little wary. What would you suggest an activist do, uh, people out who are watching this do about this? I think the main thing that, that activists need to be getting across to people is, is to, to reach out to the members of our community who are beset by fear and by prejudice and you know, who don't want the homeless in their community. As I say all the time, the majority of, of terrifying criminals in this town live in houses and not on the street. And I think that, that a whole lot of, of what's happening here, especially in terms of neighborhood opposition, has to do with prejudice and with fear. And I think that the only way to combat the prejudice and fear is through conversations, is through getting those who fear the homeless to meet and interact with the homeless, to understand who they are. You know, they're not those people. They're not bums. They're not drunks. They're just like you and I, except something happened between now and then. And I think that piece is, is really missing. I mean, even in the language of the council, I know they try to, to recognize that. But when I hear, you know, this can't be in any neighborhood, all I can think of is discrimination and of redlining and of bowing down to the fear. And I, I think that activists really need to be out in the community really talking to people, talking to our friends, talking to our neighbors, stressing that, you know, the homeless are no more dangerous, no less, no more than anybody else. And that, you know, they are our neighbors. They once lived in houses. They, they, they are members of our community. They're still members of our community. And we need to stop treating them differently. You know, that this, this town has a large history of xenophobia and of prejudice toward who we consider to be the other. And I think that this is just a modern manifestation, and right now the homeless are that other. And we need to stop othering people, and we need to accept that they're just like you and I, and they need to be treated with compassion, dignity, and respect.